This is Roger with iGadget Geek. Today I have a case review to show you guys for the iPhone 6 Plus. Now this is the UAG case for the iPhone 6 Plus and I have it available here in three colors. I have the Outland which is the orange, the Navigator which is the white, and the Maverick which is their translucent case. Now I have done a full review of this case for the iPhone 6 as you can see right here but today I wanted to show you guys the iPhone 6 Plus version. Now these are available at Amazon.com as well as UrbanArmoredGear.com and they'll run you about $35 a case. Now they are available in about uh, six different colors. Now they come in basically the three I've shown you here plus a arrow which is kind of a blue color the Scout, which is the black, and the Valkyrie, which is kind of a kind of a muted pink color. So let's dive right on into this full review. Of course, with these, you get the standard screen protector, squeegee, and microfiber cleaning cloth that we've come to see and expect from UAG. But since I've already had these cases out using them, I didn't really want to go into the whole unboxing. You've seen that previously. What I really wanted to focus on was the cases themselves for the iPhone 6 Plus and showing you kind of a size relation here to the iPhone 6. So as you can see right here is both of these orange or the Outland on the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, so you can get kind of an idea of the size difference. Now the thickness, the, of course the iPhone 6 Plus is a little bit thicker because the phone itself is a little bit thicker. And there's a couple other subtle changes. One of the others is these grips on the sides. On the iPhone 6, as you can see, they're just the polycarbonate. But on the 6 Plus, you have a little more TPU here, so it gives you a little added grip, which is nice considering how large the iPhone 6 Plus is. Of course, you still get these same kind of fake Torx heads that we've come to see and expect from UAG, that same UAG logo, these two little cutouts here that kind of show off the back of the iPhone 6 Plus. A nice generous cutout here for your camera, two-tone flash, secondary mic. And on the very bottom, you have a nice cutout here for your main speaker, lightning connector, headphone jack, and main microphone. Now, the volume rocker, again, is covered, and it has the plus and minus, but again, it has those slits that we've come to see. And I have the clear one here, so you can really kind of get an idea of these slits. So if you look right here, I'm going to zoom in right here on the plus and minus, just like we've come to see and expect from UAG. These covered buttons, the way they've designed them, they're very responsive, very easy to push. You get a great tactile feedback. And of course, the silent switch, very easy to get your finger in there to activate that silent switch. Along the top, there is nothing. On the opposite side here, of course, you have a covered sleep-wake power button. Again, with that notch on the bottom, makes it very responsive, very easy to get in there and actually have that great tactile feedback with a covered button. So you get the protection of a covered button, but you get kind of the responsiveness and the feel of a button that has not been covered. And of course, you get a nice, generous lay on the table. So it's very easy to get in here and access all of your settings on your iPhone 6 without any problems. And I like the added grip. So you have some grip here on the sides, and with this textured UAG back, you get some added grip. So that is the orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the orange off. And we'll go ahead and place the white or the navigator. Now, I always recommend starting the button side first or the silent switch just because that way you're making sure you're not actually putting too much pressure on that silent switch or anything. You don't want to hurt it or damage it because these are a very snug fitting case. They're easy to get on and off, but once they're on, you don't have to worry about them actually coming off of the phone. So as you can see, here's the navigator. It gives you a great black white look or as I like to call it, it's the Stormtrooper case because it gives you a very cool black and white look on my black, or I'm sorry, the Space Gray iPhone 6. So, you know, that's a really great look if that's what you're wanting to go for. And one thing I've noticed about their white case, I've used it on other phones in the past and it doesn't collect much dirt or discolor. They've done a fantastic job on it actually maintaining its white color. And now one of the new cases, now I haven't used one of these too much. This is the Navigator. I'm sorry, this is the Maverick, which is their translucent or clear case. And it's a pretty unique case. It's all the things we've come to see and expect from UAG. You get the fake Torx, but you have kind of this completely clear back, but you still have the embossed, you know, kind of pattern we've come to see from UAG. But it does it all with a clear back. Then you get kind of this honeycomb pattern 
around the edges. And of course, a nice UAG logo, but you can really show off your iPhone 6 in this case. It, it, it looks a really unique look. It's kind of this real cool, translucent, clear polycarbonate, but it really shows off the iPhone 6, and I really do like the way this case looks. You still get that added grip that we've come to see and expect from UAG. You adjust to do it in a pretty unique looking case. So now that has been my full review of the UAG cases for the iPhone 6 Plus, and this has been Roger with iGadgetGeek.